Alright, morning guys. It's um, grey and cloudy today. Uh, it's a little bit later than, than other times. But I thought um, this morning on my way to calligraphy class that um, we could take a walk down to near where the, the Nagamine Dojo used to be. And right near there, there's the new performing arts centre. And apparently it's just opened, so um, considering it's all kind of close together and it's quite near where I go to do calligraphy, um, I thought we could take a walk that way and see see what's over there. So this on the left here, which I walk past quite often on the way to the bookshop, um, it's a uh, Campo clinic. And Kampo is like Chinese medicine or like herbal medicines. So if you feel the need um, for some herbal medicines, maybe that's the place you would you would want to go. Alright, so it's one of the next lefts. Um, we'll know when we get a little bit closer to it. Because you can see it. You can basically um, just see where they've, they've built the whole new building. I think it's the busiest street. It's not this first little one. I think it's the busiest street after that, but we'll have a look. Yeah, this is it. Let's head across. You can see it. The design of the the new building here. It um, seems to be quite similar to what I thought the other one was like, with the really decorative kind of outside of it. I'm not really sure if you're allowed to go inside or not, or if it's even open yet. Um, big. It's a big building. They've uh, redone all the streets around it, which is cool. Like nothing, and it's very dark inside. Maybe it's not open yet, but here it is. Oh, maybe it is open. Let's go have a look. So, just come inside. I think it's okay. Um, there's a display up to to the 100 year anniversary of Naha City becoming a city, um, which is really cool. Um, so. Super, super cool to see the pictures of the sort of old Okinawa. Here it is, it's very, very wide open. Um, no pictures in there, that's kind of a, uh, looks like a uh, exhibition kind of thing. Um, and they've got some big halls and stages, see? And see how it looks on the screen here. I imagine at some point there will be karate demonstrations happening, happening here. Um, it'd be cool to come see something here, wouldn't it? It's the Naha Cultural Arts Theatre. 
uh, there must have been an event of some sort this morning because it's busy and there's lots of children walking around with trophies so I should um see if I can come and see something like that some point soon, shouldn't I? It's um it's a nice building. See here they've put up a a stone a stone here. Think about the history of the area really. Uh, and then they've up here they've got kind of posters about what's happening or what's coming up. So let's have a look. Must be Kabuki. Maybe. I got a car park here as well. See how they've um they've tried to mix Naha and art together. I guess it's kind of creative. All right, so I think if we walk around the back here, we'd get to where the the old Nagami no Dojo used to be. Which might have been one of the reasons they turned it into a car park. Maybe. Um, it would be quite a smart thing to do, wouldn't it? So, let's walk around down this little street here. I get a little bit confused if I don't take one particular route to where it was. Um, because, like, Nagami no Dojo was never a place that I trained and it was never even open from when I started living here. Um, so, I wonder if it's up through here. Go this way. I can still get myself lost often um, here. I know a lot of the streets, but you know, you don't walk down all the streets every day, so. You never like super, super actually lost though, really. I'm just the gimbal on, and the camera's all right. Okay, I'm pretty sure that when I get to the end here, I need to go left. But I'm not making it the easiest to get to where, where it used to be at all. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know now, because it's right here. It used to be kind of right built built right up here and this this corner I'm not coming at it from the best angle and obviously you can't really see kind of um how it was because it's so busy but let's walk around to kind of the angle that everybody knows maybe and um, have a look at it from there it's quite hard really isn't it imagine there's going to be people coming here and doing karate in this car park. Um, I mean, there was. You imagine that, all the history of like, um, like, uh, who stood here and who trained here and like, now, now it's just a car park. 
It's crazy, isn't it? You now everybody has has that that famous picture from like the corner where there's the restaurant. Now there's absolutely no sign that anything ever was here at all. Because um, it's quite sad. I mean, a lot of people's journeys are knocking our side here. Ended here for a lot too. Be nice if they did put up like uh, a little sign or a little something that that um, kind of commemorates it. I mean, the new Nagamina Sensei stone does, but not not quite quite the same as kind of here, is it? Um, and if you look, if you look there, that big white building, and you can see some of the pattern designs. If you look kind of through as well, that's the new performing arts centre. So it it really is. Um, uh, very close to it, so I guess this car park is already very, very popular. Um, I guess it would have been about here where you would have gone in, right? And the Makiwaras would have been would have been outside. Um, it's actually quite a big, big plot of land, really. Um, there's kind of absolutely no hint as to what it ever was. So if you didn't know, you never will. I wonder just how many. Um, just how many places in Okinawa are like that. It's expensive. It's an expensive car park too. That's insane. All right. I mean, we are very close to Kokusai Dori. Let's move on from that. I don't know why. I mean, for me, it's, it's, um, it's not a big thing. I never trained here. This was not my dojo. Um, I only got to visit here kind of once. And even then it wasn't sort of somewhere I got to sort of significant for me, but yet still it feels kind of eerie and kind of um, strange, like it's not supposed to be like that. Alright, last time I was here they were knocking it down and you could still see parts of the Kamidana and um, parts of the building was still here. Um, now there's nothing. So let's just keep going we're gonna gonna head off to to calligraphy now I think I might get coffee on the way I've already had coffee today but never have enough coffee right so I'll try and add in a few pictures of how it was um, and I'll add in the videos now of when when they were knocking it down which was kind of sad but I kind of find it more sad now Carry on. Lots of people will know these streets and these routes well um, because they were right here, and I imagine um, there will be lots of people coming and visiting or maybe using that, that car park. So, if we just walk up this little alleyway, we'll find ourselves directly on Kokosai Dori. 
which I guess explains why it's just so expensive. Um, and also why why it would have been such a popular dojo, I guess. I mean, you're probably a very good teacher as well from white here. To teach and have a dojo for such a long time, you you have to love it and you have to be good at it, I guess. That's kind of what I think anyway. All right, I'll stop rambling now with Just made it. It's a cook side. And the marker you can use to get to this little alley, if we spin around. Is this puffy snow. Now, it might not always be there, you gotta be prepared for that, but it's this alley right next to it. We'll lead you right down to um, to where the Nagamina Dojo was. Another thing that probably will never change is right opposite is the the street that leads up to James's wife's sweet shop, uh, the fire station, and the really yummy smelling cake shop is right there too. So if you kind of remember those things, it's down the little alleyway off there. But I mean, many of you aren't gonna need aren't gonna need those instructions um, because you know you you'll know where that is a lot better than I will. Okay.